Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm JS Fortify Productions. Now, you can tell from the towel down below, I will be telling you guys how I get skit ideas. So, to answer your question, I get these ideas based on the fact that, yo, because I'm living it. But of course, there is a type of twist to it, so, in other words, it's my life with a twist, basically. And of course, I'm not gonna make this real quick. What I'm gonna plan to do is, react to some videos of mine that I've done over the years and explain to you guys what drove me to make that video if you know that makes any sense so here we go okay we got the homies and of course there's me yeah, Back in the old apartment. Well, good, because I've been thinking. Do you guys want to play some hide and seek? No. Oh, come on. It's still a new year. You're all okay, let me pause it from there. Like, if you couldn't tell from the key words I've addressed, it's still a new year. You're all here. That basically indicates that we do it almost every single year when we come together and if you guys are about to comment on this video right now saying oh you're too old to play hide and seek I'm like son you don't know my life cuz let me tell you something every time that new year hits we always come together to do something together and that something is hide and seek still back to the old apartment oh, stupid just try and there's no. my book, and what are you which I really reading? like. Oh, this? Uh, it's just a book I picked up not too long ago. Can I read it? Yeah, I gotta say no. It, I mean, the book is brand new, and I don't want the pages to be folded, so... And I'm gonna pause it right there. Now, this is my obsession, alright? I love books, straight up. I love it so much that... I read it so carefully that it looks brand new because I don't want a tear, I don't want to bend, nothing. Then one day I lent my book to my sister and she destroyed my book, lost it and everything and I was so damn mad. I almost lost my humanity at one point. So I've been so careful with my books that if I'm going to lend it to somebody, it has to be like they're prepared to pay me back if anything happens to it, you know? And since I was in that mental state, they would rather not read my books, basically. <laughs> but other than that, we're, we're still good, you know? Let's continue. Fortified news. Very clean, I guess. Okay, let me pause it from there. If you want to see the full video, just look for it. It's called Tanax on the News. But that besides the point. Let me tell you what inspired me to do this video. I mean, if you cannot tell from the title alone, son. I, w I was legit on the news for like five seconds, I guess. I don't know. I'm not trying to say I was an anchor. I'm just trying to say I was just a passing by civilian and I just did stuff in front of the camera. <laughs> You're definitely not going to find it. I can guarantee you that much because one, I think it was pretty local at the time. Two, this was a long time ago, so I might look different. And for the last and final reason, there's basically a lot of news clips out on YouTube or, you know, on the internet. And it's most likely going to take you a lifetime just to find it. But trust me when I say this, I was on the news. Like, straight up. Okay, well, that's it for today. If you want me to, uh, you know, react to these type of videos again, let me know in the comments down below. And... It's most likely just a scenario where I explained how I made that video in the process or what influenced me. But that piece has the point. I sure hope you guys like and subscribe. And with that being said, I'm out. 
I'm JS from Fortify Productions. Stay fortified.